Ukrainian forces quietly crossed the Dnieper. Yeah, I heard there was a radio silence. Uh, you know, there, there's this thing in the U Ukrainian army where they make an order called uh, media silence. They're not allowed to tweet anymore or make videos or say anything. And that's when you know it's going to happen. With Damn. Ukrainian infantry establishing positions on the oh, left bank the of the river, just east of Kherson city. They got the naval crossing, guys. Soft attack is going to go high, baby. Near the Russian-occupied town of Oleshki. While the Russian-installed head of the Kherson region has denied everything, satellite image analysis... Once again, hey, you can never f listen to f***ing Russians. Anything they say, positive or negative, it means nothing. It's like in total war, when you kill everyone, you have minus 100 relations, nobody trusts you anymore. Pro -Russian who, who still listens to anything Russia says, man? Military bloggers essentially confirmed the advance. Sparking excited chatter in the Western and U Ukrainian troop positions spark counteroffensive speculation. Ukrainian media about the beginning. Dude, I've never rooted for anyone like I rooted for Ukraine, man. I didn't even root like this for the German national team in 2014, bro. So in this video, we thought we'd take a look at what just. I like how he's wearing the green uh, sweater from Zelensky with a Nike symbol on the neat pro. And whether this means that Ukraine's counter. Dude, I like the fucking pullovers he wears. I would wear them. That's style, bro. That's like Vikings in Paris, bro. I like these pullovers. Can I buy that? We should just say that we're not undermining the Ukrainian army by talking about their recent advances. These advances were first confirmed by pro-Russian military bloggers on Telegram and have since been widely publicized by both the Institute for the Study of War and the Associated Press. So it's not like we're reporting on anything that the Russians didn't know or providing them with any... With Putin, you have to always ask, is it the real Putin or the fake Putin? There's two Putins, right? New information. It's kind of confirmed now. And let's be honest, he has a, a couple gamer watching around. TLDR anyway. And while it is true that a spokeswoman for Ukraine's southern defense forces asked for, quote, international silence on this issue, this really applies to new developments and breaking news, which this video isn't about. These Ukrainians, anyway, man. I know in, in, in international media and in our heads, the Ukraine was getting weaker and weaker, right? We, we think less about it nowadays, man. But still, man, these people fight for their fucking home. Since Russian forces first fled from Kherson... Can you imagine that? You fight in a war and, you know, if you lose this war, your way of life, everything you love is fucked, man. ...city in September of last year. But that year, should be giving the very good River, morale, man. which runs across Ukraine and through... I think a lot of Israelis should know about that. <laughs> ...has been the de facto contact line between the Russian and Ukrainian forces in the Kherson Oblast. Now, small Ukrainian recon groups have occasionally crossed the river to gather intelligence. But until recently, Ukraine had been unable to establish a permanent position on the left bank of the river. This is both because the river obviously provides the Russians with an effective natural line That's of defense. That's a big fucking river, holy shit. But also shit. because the Ukrainian army that. doesn't have the expensive amphibious vehicles usually required for river crossings. So it's it would instead have to rely bonus. on exposed they actually fucking and do. fragile pontoon bridges. Perhaps the most significant effort to cross the river, though, came in October, when a Ukrainian force of nearly 100 troops tried to land at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, currently illegally occupied by Russian forces. At the time when rumors of- I was wondering about that today. If Ukraine takes back the power plant, can they connect this power plant to their uh, Ukrainian uh, energy system, aka bringing more energy back to Ukraine? They need amphibious tanks. They need to get uh, the uh, Australian volunteers from Tommy K. I think so, yes, probably. It's like a video game. If you take the power plant, you get like bonuses. The failed offensive first surfaced. The Ukrainian military denied the assault ever took place. But early this month, Ukrainian sources did admit it to the Times. Now, while the vast majority of these troops were able to retreat back to the North Bank. I mean, why would you attack that? Isn't it ultra defended shown you get from the flanks? Directly attacking the, the power plant that's super fucking defended? The experience, plus the fact that Ukraine had to concentrate most of its force in Donbass, apparently deterred the Ukrainians from trying... I heard it's all about I heard, I heard. I heard Ukraine is getting mad fucking OP right now because all their trained soldiers are coming in. Germany, UK, USA, they trained five-digit Ukrainians on new equipment, etc. And they're all coming to Ukraine now. That's what I kind of heard. Everywhere, right? They're coming back to Ukraine and they're fucking trained on really good Another equipment now. Major crossing. That is until last I heard they have week, space marines. When Ukrainian forces apparently established at least a semi-permanent presence on the Russian side of the Dnipro River near Kherson City. The Rumors of this supremacy. advance first appeared in the middle of last <clears throat> week, but it was only really confirmed over the weekend. When Are they supply that? Well, foreign 
equipment. Tree analysis by pro-Russian telegram channels concluded that the Ukrainians had indeed established positions on the west side of the M17 road. Last week tonight, we came on too, sure, eastern yeah. part about crypto city across the now defunct Antonovsky Bridge. To the oh, how do these troops get supply? I guess once you establish a beachhead, you can just get supply over the river, I guess. Russian controlled town of Oleshki <clears throat> and the marshlands to the west of Oleshki. Now, according to these Russian telegram channels, the Ukrainians had actually been probing these positions. If I was Ukraine, though, uh, here we go. This is really fucking dumb right now. If I was the supreme leader of Ukraine, I would be very defensive. Just grind them down. Kill these orcs, man. Let them run in like idiots. Pew, 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 pew. The, and the the longer Russia stays in the war, the worse it's for Russia, man. Right? This, it, it destabilizes them. And you should grind the XP. You should grind the... the, 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 the but taking the, the fucking power plant seems mega important. Weeks. But it was only at the beginning of last week that yeah. they started setting up supply points. And by the weekend, they'd even established what looks to be... You will lose support from the EU and US over time, though. I don't think so. They will still have a shit ton of support. Yes, no, 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 I don't think so. ...presence on the left bank of the Dnipro, with Ukrainian forces apparently occupying buildings in the westernmost part of Dahi. Unsurprisingly, when these reports reached Western media, they sparked a whole load of excited headlines about Ukraine's yeah, the media instantly AX like it's over. Ukraine won. Inferring from this recent what a beautiful region, man! Destroyed by dumbass Vance, war. Look at the that. The Ukraine's counteroffensive was going to start in the south. Now, as we've explained in previous videos, there are. Imagine being Zelensky's bodyguard, man. You must be really on suicide watch the last fucking year, man. This is that Ukraine's counteroffensive could occur. Firstly, in Donbass, where the Ukrainians could either try to overwhelm Russian forces in Bakhmut with their new Western-supplied armor, or more Zelensky likely, so drip, <laughs> try and capture towns which are of strategic importance to the Russians because they're used to transport supplies to Russian troops in places like Severodonetsk, Lysychansk, and Bakhmut. Take the railways, the baby. We all know supplies everything. Is the Zaporizhia Oblast. Where the Ukrainians could try and advance south from Zaporizhia down towards Melitopol. Isolating Russian forces on the Kherson Oblast to the west of Melitopol and putting a serious strain on Russia's logistics operation in the south. Take logistics. And the third option yeah, is from Kherson, K. where the Ukrainians could try and cross the Dnipro and then move directly south to Crimea. Taken at face value, then, this recent development seems to suggest that the Ukrainians are going with option number three, moving south from Kherson down to Crimea. But is this really a legitimate inference? Does this recent advance really mean that Ukraine's counteroffensive has begun? And does it mean that they're going straight for Crimea? Well, no, not really. For starters, the Ukrainian presence on the left bank of the Dnipro is tiny. And even if it's more permanent than their previous recon missions, it's not a sustained buildup of force. It's also worth saying that the area that the Ukrainians are currently in is a marshland swamp. So it's not exactly an ideal place to Big stage debuff. a Big major counteroffensive from. And beyond that... Dude, every time I see Ukrainians, they look so equipped. And then you see the Russian stuff and they all look like they're good from fucking World War II. To think that any counteroffensive is unlikely to begin for at least another week or so. For instance, American intelligence reckons that the ground in eastern Ukraine will remain Dude, muddy looks so until old. early May. And the Pentagon documents recently leaked to the media. The guy had the Tommy K profile picture. Who, the, the guy who leaked that. Suggest that while six of Ukraine's new story. western supply brigades have been ready since the end of March, the final three won't be ready until May at the earliest. Now, we're not saying that Ukraine's, Ukraine's recent time. advances are insignificant. Any movement on the front lines, given their relative stasis over the last few months, is pretty remarkable. And the fact that the Ukrainians have established even a small bridgehead across the Dnipro is really impressive. All that we're saying here is that this doesn't necessarily mean that we should expect an enormous counteroffensive in the area in the immediate future. As a Biden was thing, there 3,000 years ago. Biden wins, he'll be 85 Everyone when he leaves the White House, man. Can you believe that? Very soon, which means Jesus that even the almighty. slightest movement on the battlefield is going to provoke Biden is the emperor of mankind. about how this is the start of some massive advance. The Ukrainians themselves are going to try and bluff and distract the Russians. What Ukraine needs to do in Hoi full terms is to encircle. They need to encircle to do more manpower damage to, to, to Russia. Thanks to manufacture a similar situation to what happened in Kharkiv last year, 
when the Ukrainians successfully convinced the Russians to focus their forces in Kherson instead. And this kind of double bluffing is going to make media reports even more chaotic. The point we're trying to make here is that it's going to be hard to know when and where exactly the Ukrainian counteroffensive is going yeah, to lot, happen. Lot, lot, lot of, because the Ukrainians are going to actively try to bluff the Russians. And because the media are all too likely to fall for it, which is sort of the point. And every time I watch this shit, I think what we all forget, man, everybody always blah, blah, blah. Dude, that's a real war. I think a lot of people are not sensitive for that. They don't understand that. That's a real war. If you and me were born wrong, like in Ukraine, we would be fucking probably fighting there right now, man. I think that's what unfortunately a lot of people don't get. People nowadays are so cold and so numb, man. They just, uh, ah, here's my opinion, but forgetting the human side about it, that there's a real fucking war going on, man. What are you still doing here, mate? Jeez. Well, if you want to see more, click these videos. Have fun. Looking good, boy.